I know I'm, I am incredibly late to this, so I apologize because the other videos that have come out this month were, again, ones that I pre-recorded. Um, but the latest news that I have is the nine-year-old girl who was handcuffed in the back of a cop car and pepper sprayed directly in the face by a group of cops. I believe it was nine cops, seven or nine cops in Rochester, New York. So please, please, please be checking out the link um, to the BLM movement in the description because if there's anything, I haven't personally seen any kind of GoFundMes or petitions or anything like that going around on social media, but if anything is there, please check out that link because that's where you're going to find that stuff. A nine-year-old girl it shouldn't matter whether the person's older, younger, male, female, whatever, but a nine-year-old girl and the police were called to do a mental health check. So please keep checking out that link because if we can do anything to get those douchebags fired, suspended, whatever, just get them away from other people, we're going to need to do that. Hello, Frenzies. Welcome back to my channel. This is a very strange tonal shift, and I apologize because I always want to be making that announcement at the beginning of my videos, but then the videos themselves, I feel like, are very, like, light and fluffy and not at all, like, involved with that. So I, I do apologize, but this is a very exciting video for me to make um, because ColourPop and Animal Crossing did a freaking collab, and I got everything I wanted. I forgot the exact release date. When was the release date made? Let me check my little box and see if I have a little um, paper for it. Let me check when the release date was because the 28th, January 28th was the release date. Um, and I would say if you want any of the items I ordered that they're going to be available on the ColourPop website, but I don't think they are because it sold out very quickly. I checked it. So the launch was on like was at like noon, noon or one, it was at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I went on at like 12.58 because I was like, oh, I should get like ready. And everything was already up at like 12.58. So I threw what I wanted in my cart and I was in like, um, like the online like line for five minutes, like legitimately five minutes, which is not a long time at all. I was lucky to get everything I wanted, but there is like nothing of this collection that is still available. I'm sure they're going to restock because this is such a big collab and everybody wants everything from it. But there's currently nothing in stock the day I'm filming this video. There's nothing in stock except for, I think, Five Star Island? Either five, no, I think it's What A Who. I think What A Who, and it's one of the palettes. So let's get into this because I'm so excited. Okay, hold on. The front of this box looks wicked ugly because I ripped off my dress. But this is my little, this came in the mail yesterday. This is my, uh, this is my box. I'm very excited. The only thing I did to the, the, the only thing I did to the box so far is I cut the tape that like had it closed. Um, and I moved things to take out my order form so I could tell you when the launch date was. So yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna open it together right now. I'm so excited about this. I did like look but I didn't dig through and look at things. I just like opened it and went, oh, oh, okay. Cause I, I literally got it last night. Like the day I'm filming this video, I got it last night in the mail. So I'm so excited. I haven't looked at anything cause I wanted to do it on camera. Also really quick, I'm not a, like a beauty review channel. I don't really wear makeup a lot. I wear it for videos, but other than that, I don't wear makeup often just cause I don't love the way it feels. I might like, I have very sensitive skin. I don't love how it feels. Cause even the lightest stuff, like I literally wear powder and that can feel sticky for me very easily. So if you think this review of it is like really shitty, I'm, I'm sorry. I don't, I don't do beauty reviews, I'm sorry. But I am a huge fan of ColourPop. So whenever I do my brows, that's always ColourPop stuff. So, okay. <laughs> oh my God, I love the ColourPop packaging. Can we talk about that? ColourPop packaging, 10 out of 10. Should I take it out with the bubble wrap or should I take out things one by one? Let's do things one by one because I think, I don't know if I want to swatch them here or just show you the product and the packaging here and then I'll swatch them on my arm later. Later, that's what we'll do. We'll swatch them later, okay. <laughs> See what I mean? I don't know how to do this shit. All right, I'm gonna put the box over there and I'm gonna take out things one by one. So the first thing we have, oh my god, this packaging is so cute. It's got little bells on it. I'll probably do close-ups too. Do you guys want that? Do we want little close-up videos? You can't answer before this video comes out. But anyway, so this is um this is Billionaire. Little little bell bag. 
I don't want to leave this stuff in the packaging, but the packaging is very cute. Oh my god, I just... <gasps> this is so fucking cute. Oh my god. Oh my god, look at this. Please look at this. It's a little bell. And this is like chunky gold glitter. Glitterly obsessed glitter gel. Oh my god, this is... Oh, it has the little film on it. I'm gonna leave the film on it. Oh, nope, I took the film off. Oh no, that's not what I wanted. Okay. I'm gonna leave the film on for now, but can you guys... Can you guys see how fucking bright and beautiful that is? Oh my god, that's incredible. This is so exciting. I'm glitterally obsessed. Like, legitimately. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm funny. I'm not. I want to die this packaging is everything can we just talk about that oh my goodness i don't like know how to function right now i don't know what i'm going to do with the packaging i'm going to put it off to the side for now because it's gorgeous so then i got the just a, oh no just a tint mini duo and it's like a lip thing pick of the bunch coconut juice and incomparable like, oh my god, look at how fucking cute this packaging is. It's got, like, the Able Sisters, it's got Stitches, it's got Lily, it's got, is that Hamlet? I think that's Hamlet on there. Little, little hamster boy, which I think is an interesting little, I can't tell if that's Sable or, I think it's Sable. Oh, these are so pretty. <gasps> Ooh, so you can see which ones are the pair. And which one is the coconut? Look at that. And then let's, um, oh my god, let's take off the top. Oh, something's spinning. Hold on. Oh my god, this is so scary. Okay. Wow. So the pear is going to be the top one. The coconut is the bottom one. This is really exciting. Um, wait, does it say on here? incomparable okay this is coconut <laughs> i want to make sure i have the things on right wow now the reason i chose these i chose the very dark ones because one i personally look very good with dark lipstick on i'm not gonna lie to you i think i do at least so that's all that matters and um i'm gonna put things back in their packaging for now it's also snowing so i'm like kind of distracted because i keep looking at the snow the reason i chose the dark ones is because i saw like the people who get I looked up like people who get this like these collections kind of early to do like PR and everything which I don't know if I should say this or if it matters this is not PR I bought this with my own money you probably already knew that but anyway I looked up the people who get this early for PR because I wanted to kind of see like I I knew kind of what I wanted but I wanted to see other things a lot of the lip things come off as more of a, a gloss from what I saw other people like swatch and everything so I really liked the dark ones, how they looked. They might come off more as like a lipstick, but they looked like they came off as more as more of a gloss and just the dark thing, the darker tones look better on me anyway. Like when I do like, cause my brows are usually like very vibrant. And then the darker lips I usually do for videos when I do like a very pink look. I think that's a nice combo and I have like darker eyes too. So it kind of makes my eyes pop. Excuse me, I got burps for some reason. But anyway, long story short, that's why I chose the darker ones. Oh my god, the most exciting part. Oh my god, the most exciting part. Oh my god, the most exciting part. I got two of the palettes. I don't know which one to show you first. And yes, I did get the palette specifically to do my eyebrows. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, we'll go with the green. We'll go with the green. This is so exciting. I got the Nook Ink palette. The colors are Yes, Yes, Made in the Shade, CEO, and Water Landing. Look at how absolutely stunning with all the little leaves and then nook timmy and tommy also wicked quick does anybody want me to do an animal crossing lore video because i want to talk about animal crossing lore because there are too many people that hate tom nook when he does not deserve the hatred at all yes i did hate tom nook back in the day i started playing with city folk and i thought he was a fucking crook but you know what there's a bigger story behind that i want to do an animal crossing lore video so please either in the comments tell me or leave a like because if you leave a like i'm gonna take that as you want an animal crossing lore video <laughs> Okay, back to ColourPop. I like don't want to open these because they're so pretty. I want to leave them in the packaging. Oh my god, it's so cute. Look at this fucking thing. Look at that. 
Oh, and on the back it has little acorns and leaves. Oh, it has that on the front too. It has a little bow, a little message in a bottle, a little whale tail. <gasps> oh, wow. How pretty. Yes, yes, Made in the Shade, CEO in Water Landing. Yes, yes, and Made in the Shade, I think I will definitely use um, to do, like, my eyebrows a lot. Water Landing, I could probably see it too. I wore green today because I was almost like, I'm gonna film this video and, like, do my makeup on camera, but then I realized that I literally cannot. I There's no way. I don't have, like, a good size mirror that's, like, a handheld one. I could probably do, ah, the little film came off. I could probably do my brows in like this mirror, but I don't trust myself enough. And I am worried about fallout. Not saying that ColourPop has a lot of fallout. It has some, which is no big deal because I always do it in my bathroom over the sink. So it doesn't really matter to me, but I wouldn't personally want to do it in my room. I don't think because you know what? A lot of the fallout might be how I use it because the way I put the brush in my shadow to do my eyebrows is probably too aggressive. So that could be my fault. But anyway, um, and then CEO is just gorgeous and I would probably do that as like, honestly, I might do that instead of highlight because I don't have highlight that I think would go with green. I literally have a, like a blue purple and a bright pink highlight. So CEO could probably be my little highlight. And now we have LaBelle of the Ball because it's Sable, Abel, and LaBelle. Abel Sisters, Taylor Ticket, Custom Design, and Serene Sable. Oh, I love it. Why do they have little stars next to those? Maybe because it used the, the names? But it's so cute because it has all three of the Able Sisters. There's lore behind that too. I don't know if any of you guys know the lore behind the Able Sisters, but that's fucking adorable. It's got all the sisters. It's got little outfits and like accessories and hats and everything. Oh my God, that's so cute. Again, this is also mostly for my brows. Oh my God, look at it. It's got all the girls on it. Oh, I love it. And little flowers at the bottom. Oh my God. All right, let's open her up. <gasps> Ooh, now custom design. Oh, this one looks like it got a little tiny bit beat up because the film, I don't know if you can see, but the film's like a little dirty. This, I don't know if I'm going to personally use custom design all that much, but the rest of these I will use 100% tailor tickets. I could honestly use with a pink look. Um, Serene Sable 1000% Purple Brows. Like, I, I love this so much. These are gorgeous. Wow. I'm not super in love with custom design. I'm not going to lie to you. I don't love that it looks very brown. That's, um, and that's part of the reason why I didn't get What A Hoot in uh, Five Star Island, because What A Hoot was more of a, like, to me, a neutral palette, which I think that is the exact thing that you call it. It was more of a neutral palette, and I don't really care about neutrals. I don't wear brown often. The most brown thing I have is it's like a soft, kind of like teddy, faux fur, fluffy little, like, hoodie thing. Um, and even then, it's like practically white. But um, I'm not a fan of neutrals. I think we have enough neutral makeup forever in this world, like as a society and as a pastel bitch. I think we don't need any more neutrals for the rest of forever. And then Five Star Island was like pinks and yellows, which is fine. But I literally, I have a pink and a yellow from ColourPop already. And I don't like, you know what I mean? I don't need them right now. Maybe I should have gotten it for when I hit pan on the other ones. But I mean, I'm stocked up right now, so that's fine. Oh my god, this is so exciting. I think what I am gonna do is show you a foot show you footage of me swatching everything on my arm, but I'm gonna do that after. Alright, hi there frenzies. You can see uh you can see my tattoos. This is me swatching. I'm so sorry about the volume and the awkward camera angle, but this is me going to swatch. So first, we're gonna swatch Bellionaire. And I have freaking makeup removers off to the side because as soon as I finish this and take a picture for my friend, it's coming off of my arm immediately. All right, let's do this. I have my finger in, um, <laughs> Bellionaire. Now this is glitter gel, and I know it said glitter gel, but for some reason I thought it was the loose glitter, even though I read glitter gel. Okay, I don't know if you saw that, but I did a couple passes only because I'm not used to, um, like the gel of the glitter like literally at all, but look how pretty that is. It's so light, like it is a chunky gold glitter, but it feels nice and light, and I think that's the gel formula, which honestly, I haven't used the gel formula before, so really 10 out of 10. All right, so now I have Incomparable, 
We're gonna do a swatch of that. <gasps> ooh, ooh, I love that. Let me show you. I like that it's like, oh, on the camera it comes off a little bit more orangey. This is more of, um, God, burgundy is not the right word for it, but this is, it's not as orangey as it looks on camera. Don't forget, my lighting skills are not great. And then we're going to do coconut juice. Again, please remember that I'm not like a beauty YouTuber, so if this is just god-awful, I'm so sorry. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, I love that. Does it look more brown on camera? I think so. I think it looks a little more brown. But that's like, it's like a ready brown, but it looks, I feel like it looks more brown on camera. Next, we're going to do Nook Ink. All right. So first we're going to do Yes, Yes. Oh my God, so pretty. Nook Ink. I'm going to do Made in the Shade. I'll give you guys a better close up in just a second. Oh my God, I love that. That's going to look so pretty on my brows. You can kind of see it in the camera. Ooh, CEO just straight up feels like glitter. That's exciting. Oh, absolutely yes. Absolutely yes. And then water landing. My finger's a little damp from using the makeup remover, but we will see. Okay, that's interesting. That's interesting. So that top one, we have yes, yes. And I love that it's like so sheer, but you can see like just a little bit of it. Then we have Made in the Shade. I love Made in the Shade. That's definitely going on my eyebrows. I like that they all look more sheer because it's mainly glitter. Keep that in mind. It is mainly glitter in most of these. Then we have CEO, which is straight up just, it's just like white glitter. Again, I love that. Unless you're looking really, really close and like great lighting, it's, um, for the most part, it's just like sheer glitter. And then this is Water Landing, which Water Landing is a very dark green in the, um, palette but it comes off very light which I think is interesting and I don't hate it I don't know how you would feel about it versus you know palette to skin but you know I like it personally I'm a fan of it so all right I took that stuff off just so I had room to put on the labella the ball palette and I don't know if you can see but right here is where the two um lip what are they called just a tint mini duo. So I'm going to say lip tints is what they are. They don't have like an official name. But that's where the two lip, tin lip tints were. Um, and you can see that they're like, they kind of stained, which I think is good because that just speaks to like the long lasting like wearability of it. Again, beauty reviewer, I am not. I don't know what you guys are looking for, but we are now going to do the labella the ball. All right, so first, oh, my hands have so much glitter on them and hopefully not like green residue, but possibly green residue. Okay, so first we're gonna do Able Sisters. I think again, this is gonna be like a sheer um, glitter, even though it has like a purpley pink to it, but let's see. Oh, how pretty. I'm a glitter person and I really love the glitter consistency of that, wow. Now keep in mind, if it looks a little peachy, that's because it's over the stain of one of the lip things. All right, now we're going to do Taylor's Ticket. I'm not like rubbing my fingers through these, by the way. I'm really just like patting my finger on top of them. So I don't know if that says anything about the quality, but it says about me. Oh, that's so cute. It looks very pink in real life. It's definitely coming off more purpley on the camera, but that's very pinky. Which, am I upset with that? No, I love that. I like that everything has glitter in it too. I'm such a glitter bitch, I love this. All right, custom design. This is the one I'm not thrilled with, seeing it in real life. It looks very brown, so I guess we're gonna see. Oh, okay. It looks more brown on camera, but in real life, it looks a lot like um, the swatch of incomparable. Whew. It looks a lot like the swatch, like now that it's on my arm, it looks like the same swatch of incomparable. I don't hate that as much as I thought I was going to. Not hate it, but I don't dislike it anymore. I actually really love that. And then the last one is Serene Sable, which is like that dark purple. Ooh, ooh. 
little fallout in the palette as I'm rubbing my fingers through it, but I think that is because this one looks like it got a little roughed up in delivery, so I'm gonna say that. Yeah, see, you can kind of tell there's like a little bit of fallout going on there. I like this one. I am going to give this one two pa passes. I like that. It's very matte in comparison, which I think is also kind of where I'm like, eh, right now, I feel like everything else has been very creamy and glittery. It's a little matte, which I think that's where my hesitation's coming from right now. Everything else has been very creamy and glittery, and this one feels kind of like solid and matte. Which, you know what, that might have been, that might have been my little kind of eh with water landing as well. Those two, they're, they're incredibly matte. Um, and I don't have a lot of matte stuff from ColourPop. Even the stuff that, like, when you buy it, it looks matte. It doesn't feel the same kind of matte that this is. So do with that what you will. It's, it's much darker than it shows on camera. On camera, it looks very pinky. It is not pinky. It's a, it's a darker purple than what it looks. So yeah, that's La Bella the Ball. I think my favorite out of the two of these is Nook Ink because I think all of Nook Ink colors are much more glittery. But I really, really love April Sisters. It's this top glitter right here. That is like absolutely stunning. 10 out of 10. But yeah, I'm so excited. And right before I've even done the swatches, I'm incredibly pleased with everything. Like, this is so exciting. This is everything I've ever wanted. Animal Crossing and ColourPop together. That's like literally a dream. And I completely understand the hype. I understood the hype because I was part of the hype, but I completely understand the hype, especially now. So yeah, that's super fun. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Honestly, even if nobody leaves the like for it, I'm probably going to do a video about Animal Crossing lore. <laughs> I'm in so deep, man.